always need food on my bed. I like live in my room. It's definitely my happy place. I like to keep my food in my room separate. I don't know why I'm crazy about my room smelling like food, so I eat outside and I just solely use my room to relax. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Alexa Montez. And I'm Alicia Montez. We're here with Refinery29 and we're so excited to show you our dream gig. TikTok and just the For You page heavily inspired my room. I was just seeing new ideas every day and just seeing, you know, the cool things that people were doing now. And I really wanted my room to be a brand new vibe. So yeah, I would definitely just say really recent TikTok videos helped me design my room. My room has always had the same aesthetic. Even when I was younger, it was always pink, whites, and blues. So for me, I really enjoy decorating my apartment, just making it a little bit more mature. And I feel like my bedroom just really embodied my childhood self and how similar it is to my adult self. Welcome to my dream digs. Wait, before you come in, let's get comfy. <sighs> That's much better. So come on in. You know, I definitely feel like I've grown into my adult life in this room. I've definitely grown into my aesthetic and who I am as a person. You know, being a twin, it's kind of hard to understand your individuality, but I really love how this room shows like how I really feel, you know. Over on this corner, I have my nightstand and the best tapestries I could find. They really added all the color that I wanted in the room. Over here on my bedspread, I have everything used from Amazon. Amazon is definitely my best friend when I moved here. I have these silk pillowcases that came with the design, which I really love. It has like an astrology vibe that matches my room, and they really help, especially with you know damage control when you have curly hair. So that's just a quick curly hair tip. Definitely get some silk pillowcases. I have my nightstand over here, which is where I keep the things that I like to visit every night. Over quarantine, I got really into reading books, especially, you know, self-help and things that just really made me feel good when I was alone. I have some incense and my water bottle that actually has some amethyst in it. And then over here, I don't know if you've noticed, but I had some decoration. These fan panels are actually from my childhood home in Florida, and I painted them this way. I have my kitty here who fits my aesthetic perfectly. I have some canvases that I actually painted myself definitely a few years ago. These are also from my childhood home. Over here, I just have the corner with the map that scratched out all the places I've been to and to hopefully promote more traveling. My older sister told me one day, and it really stuck with me, that the left corner of your room is your prosperity corner. It tends to attract all of your positive energy. So that's where I like to keep most of my spiritual things, like crystals that I have and my notebooks and sacred geometry, which is also known to attract really positive energy. I have my dresser, which Alicia always says is full of clutter, but I promise everything on here is super important. Over here is my jewelry corner. I'm known for wearing a ton of necklaces all the time, so they're really like my prized possessions. And then up here, I found this mirror at the Trading Post. It's actually a home business, and she just makes custom mirrors. This is Vivian Westwood. I found this candle also at the Melrose Trading Post. They're called Da Vinci Candles, and he just makes really amazing candles, so check him out. So through here is my bathroom. I have this amazing built-in vanity mirror, which I love. It really helps in making the best TikTok videos. I keep everything pretty organized. It's all from home goods. You know, it's really my secret to getting ready quickly, just knowing where everything is. I have my favorite fake freckle product, which I have on right now. I know my freckles look really real, but they're actually not, and I share that secret on my TikTok. And then through here is my closet. It's my walk-in closet. I try to keep it organized and color-coded. And then I want to show you this corner that I have in here. I have this dresser that's fully dedicated to my PR packages, which seems kind of crazy, but I like to keep all the makeup and hair products and skin products so I can really try them out for my followers and even give them to some of my friends, which I love doing. My room is vastly different than Alicia's room. The aesthetic is much more um, boho chic. There's a lot more crazy neon colors, but I love it. It definitely, you know, shows my personality well and shows my interest in spirituality really well. And now passing it on to Alicia. Now that you've seen Alexa's room, I want to show you my dream digs as well, but I want to get comfortable too. That's definitely much more like it. Come on in. 
I feel like my room is very different. Mine's more aesthetics and the color I like and I feel Alexa has a lot more personal items. <laughs> Every little knickknack in her room yeah. means something which embodies her personality just as much as that. When you walk in my room, the first thing you probably notice is a painting above my bed. It says she writes her own rules and inspires others to follow and I feel like it explains what I do really well because I influence people to always do something positive with their life so I like to have that as a reminder of what I really am here to do. Over here I have a similar poster that has a, the moon phases on it. Since me and Alexa are twins but we're completely polar opposites, I like to say I'm the moon and she's the sun. And then I have a nice little mini fridge here. It's actually solely for my skincare because I'm obsessed with skincare. If you haven't tried to refrigerate your skincare, I highly recommend that you do because after a warm shower, it's really good on sensitive skin. I love taking photos, whether they're Polaroids or disposable, something that I can actually have. I actually did a campaign with Puma and Journeys and their whole entire mantra was to be bold and be your own muse which I thought was really important and inspiring because I constantly feel like I am my own muse. I share a lot of my life on social media, so it meant a lot to me, so I always keep it on my desk right here. And then over here, we can talk a little bit more about my bed. I get my linens from Home Goods. I like to keep it white because my colors are always changing in my room. These silk pillows are from Amazon as well. If you have curly hair, then you know how important it is to sleep on a silk pillow, and the gold just really pulls everything together. Over here is my couch that I actually had in my first apartment that I love. All the throw pillows are from Home Goods except for this one. Somebody actually sent me this pillow on Instagram and it's an evil eye. It's really spiritual and it protects you and I love that. This is not a stuffed animal, it's actually a warmie. It's from Amazon and I love it. Girls, literally all you do is plop this in the microwave and it becomes a heating pad and I just think it's so funny how she's disguised like that. And it actually has a bunch of essential oils in it so once you heat it up it smells really good. And then over here, my cat has her very own bed. I thought it was so cute because it fits my aesthetic. It's a little mouse and she always is constantly living in here. When she's not sleeping on my bed, she's using her. So I thought that was super cute to get for her. Over here, I actually have two books by my bed. One is Today I Affirm. It's my affirmation journal because I love to write my affirmations at night. And then this is just my regular journal. I always tell my friends I want to know what I thought like when I was 17, 18. So I write sort of just a summary of my day every single night so I can just read back on it. It's super fun. Over here is probably the most sentimental thing in my room. It's my mood board from my teenage room. And before I moved to California, it was completely inspired by California. So I just think it's super funny because now I do live in LA. So it sort of reminds me that my manifestations are working. Here's my favorite album ever. It's the Blonde album by Frank Ocean. And it's always a conversation starter when girls come in because they're like, oh my God, I love Frank Ocean. And I love that. This big A that is on my wall was actually in my Sweet 16 and all of my high school friends signed it. I also have a fan panel that I painted and it has some of my favorite quotes on it. One of them saying, make your mind a beautiful place to be. The other one saying, what you think you will become. And they mean a lot to me because I truly believe I am here because my mind believed it. Here I actually got my TV mounted up. I was super excited about this because it was exactly like the biggest piece that I wanted. Alexa doesn't have one in her room, but we always watch movies in here together. I put some LEDs behind it to create some color. And yeah, I just love her. Who doesn't love a good TV in their room? Over here, I actually have extra storage, which I love. But the extra storage is always nice to have, especially when you're in an apartment and you don't know where to put certain things. In my bathroom, it's gonna be a little wow factor, it's purple. So I did put LEDs inside of here. So I'm obsessed with my mirror, it's a vanity light, and I just think it's super cute. Over here I have basically all the hair care products that I use. I don't really wear makeup a lot, but I do use three products religiously. I use my Sugar Balm Blush from Benefit, and their Benefit Mascara, the Real Magnetic, and I just think it's so cute. I also really love that my bathroom connects to my bedroom because it just makes it feel like I have my whole different side of the house to myself. One thing that I encourage my friends to do a lot in their bathrooms, in my shower I actually have eucalyptus because it helps you with your respiratory breathing and it relieves pain. I work out a lot so I'm constantly sore and at the end of your shower your bathroom smells like eucalyptus. 
My bathroom's also connected to my closet, which is pretty cool. I wish I was organized enough to color coordinate everything, but I'm constantly shopping, constantly switching things out. This is my black corner, you can say, and it just has all my jackets. My style has definitely changed a lot since I moved to LA. I had zero cold weather in Florida, so I like that I get to play with my style a little bit here in LA. I feel like moving into our first apartment at 17 was definitely not the norm. It was a big accomplishment, but I feel like it really helped us build how individual we were and how independent we were, so I love it. I feel like me and Alexa do fight like your regular sisters. <laughs> I mean, we look really nice right now, which we usually are, but like anybody else, we do fight, so that's why I feel like it's always super important that our spaces are so individual. Yeah, definitely. I think having the layout of our bedrooms across from each other has been really perfect for us. It really allows us to feel like individuals in our own apartment. Yeah, I completely agree, especially since we each have our own bedrooms, bathrooms, and closets. It's almost like we each have our own mini house. So living in a content house was definitely very different from living in your own apartment and your own space. I definitely am much more comfortable here. It's less hectic. I would just say it's a much calmer life. Yeah, as for our bedroom wise, living in a content house, I mean, you are, the last thing you're worried about is the decor. Decorating, yeah. Yeah, the decoration of your room. So now that we actually have the time to put, you know, our safe space together in such a meticulous way that everything means something is mm -hmm. really important. So I definitely do love my room here way more. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching our dream day. Bye. Thank you so much for watching Refinery29. To watch more videos, click here. And to subscribe, click here.